If you click this video, you probably haven't been enjoying my career as much as before when we would post our clips during the Facebook and Snapchat days. And the first mm -hmm. reason as to why my career doesn't hit the same anymore is lack of purpose. Now, in the old 2Ks, I feel like 2K did a way better job of uh -huh. making sure that my career had a longer purpose to it in comparison to the new 2Ks. Mm -hmm. And it's also important that whatever we're grinding for in my career allows us to have more fun or to create a different experience. This, this see, I hate my career, but this justice thing, it was kind of cool. To be honest, it was kind of cool. Did, did y'all like the justice thing from uh, 2K17? So a good example of that is in 2K17 with the Grand yeah. Badge. The Grand Badge allowed us to have something to grind for throughout uh, my career. So now when we go into the park or we play another my career game, since now we have Grand... Uh, I don't agree with that. I don't want to be forced to play my career. That's horrible. Being forced to play my career is... What they should do for my career is give us exclusive things like maybe some type of clothes, maybe like like exclusive sh like that or mascots or some type of sh like that. But when it comes to like having to get your badges in my career, brand badges in my career, no. No, that's good that we don't uh, have to do that. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. And badge, our player plays a little different because he has a takeover, the grand badge, that allows his player to play different. Another example of this is how in NBA 2K16, you could unlock the Terminal 23 court. And yeah. in NBA 2K17, how you... Th things like this. This is cool. The terminal court. Maybe other, like, other things like, like belts you no know, but cool not just lame shit. like you know other stuff that you could take other places you know but being forced to play my career is trash i hate i hated that shit. could unlock the high rise court now not only did this give you a reason to play my career it also created a new experience yeah. if one person in your circle had the high rise or the terminal 23 uh -huh. court it would make everybody else in your circle or your friend group want to play 1v1 or 2v2 uh -huh. because it would bring them a new experience one person grinded for it and then now it'll make four five uh -huh. six other people want to continue and maybe have more you know maybe things you can unlock through different seasons you know just cool not just you know different skin playing 2k especially in the second half of the year where sometimes oh or what they really could do is face scans you can earn face scans in rewards like from nba players you can earn their face scan or like their mascot like the straight lebron build mascot and like other nba players you can earn through my career that would be dope that you could just you go to the park looking straight like LeBron um, or like straight like Steph Curry, you know, and it's like it's legit how he look in the, you know, that'll be cool because they be having like certain haircuts that you can't even use that. That'll be something they could add to my career to give, you know, where you, you're not forced to it. But it's, you know, it's a good idea. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Is the park is dead or getting boring for everybody? What you mean? What, why is everyone so good against uh my, why everybody so against my career? No, I don't. I don't like the my career exclusive bad I, I don't like i do not want to be forced to play my no i just gave you different ideas where that would make you know my career cool you still doctor doctor 2k what do you mean i used to fun we was cool twitch is lord baby hawk if you want to see what i'm reacting to come to my twitch lord baby hawk even in 18 and 19 once you hit 99 overall your badges would go up a tier so if you had nah. gold badges you go to hall of fame silver to gold bronze to silver and this created a new experience for players because we we don't we don't want the uh rep in the mic Nah. Once you get that reward, your player doesn't play the same. He's, he's going to play completely different. So it's a different experience from before you got the reward and after you got the reward. And by no means am I trying to say to add these specific rewards back into the game, but I'm more so trying to get to the point that we have to add something to my career that gives mm -hmm. it purpose and will- Lord Baby Hulk, just come to Twitch. Lord Baby Hulk, I'm not typing it. Type Twitch, exclamation Twitch. Lord Baby Hulk. Change the experience of the game once we unlock this said thing. I Make sure y'all follow you on a play. Almost forgot to even show what you get in 24 for grinding out my career is the goat tee, the goat joggers. You also get a goat and mask. And a bunch of rings. And the goat mask, it was kind of cool, but they could they could have way more different stuff. You also are able... I never seen no one else with the goat mask besides uh my boy Tazo. And I get to use his account. To put on your championship rings on your yeah. fingers. And yeah, that's all you get for all grinding out my career. It's pretty much worthless to go for this if you only play like Pro-Am and Rec because you're not going to be able to wear this unless you're uh -huh. in the city or the theater. And another big thing that's causing my career to lose its purpose is the way 2K has been slowly decreasing the 
amount of VC uh -huh. that you can earn in my career. So now I'm going to break down how much VC you can earn. Uh, just ask some Mr. Old content creators. You know what I mean? Yeah. Dr. 2K was cool. Making an hour in my career compared to Pro Am 3v3 to kind of show there's really no point in wasting your time and playing my career. So right here is a my career game that I went out my way to play. And I just want to show you guys Damn. that it's eight minute quarter. Went out his way to play. And it's also on Hall of Fame. So you're going to see right here, 27 points, five rebounds, 38 assists, 100% from the three point line, A plus grade. And I also had only one turnover. And now you'll be able to see that it goes to 1,600 VC in 30 minutes. Understand the 1,600 I got was for me throwing lobs and playing perfect, not playing my career in a fun way. I was just doing Damn. it to get as much VC <laughs> as possible. But to a regular person, you're probably not going to get that 1,600 every time. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're new to 2K and 24 is your first 2K, you might <laughs> think this VC amount is like reasonable enough but when you compare it to like oh. pro Am 3v3 you'll easily realize that this is not worth the amount of time that you're putting uh -huh. in now for pro Am 3v3 i'm gonna give you two separate scenarios let's say you're the main guard you're dribbling the ball you're getting every Bro, he really making a whole like layout with this huh what's good face thanks for the follow what's good mitch if y'all don't see what i'm reacting to come to the twitch exclamation twitch every player of the game you're scoring 15 18 points per game and your games are going by quick as well so let's just say all of your games are taking six minutes and you're earning a thousand VC each game because you're the player of the game. Within an hour, you should make around 10,000 VC somewhere around there. Now, let's say there's a second scenario where you're just a spot up shooter, like you spot up on offense and you play corner defense and you're not getting player of the game, you're not touching the ball as much and you're only making 600 VC and then all of your games are comp games. So now they're taking 10 minutes. So let's say you're making 600 VC. Already face every 10 minutes within an hour you're gonna make 3600 vc so Damn. even if you're not even a bold dominant player you're gonna make more vc just being in pro Am 3v3 uh -huh. at least in the online mode you could have fun with your friends w and catch a w -M instead of wasting your time going to play the hardest possible computer in the game and now another big problem i have with my career is these my career quests like this one right here this daily stat challenge get two double doubles and this weekly stat challenge to get 3000 vc i don't really have a problem with it it's fair but when you get to to these endorsement like quests they make no sense to me like this one right here it says to get either a 50 point game a 15 assist game or lead the team in whatever stat to get seven hold just come to my twitch and you can see his name naheem 750 vc so i have to probably waste my time with maybe one two or three games just to get 750 vc and for me it's like the way the game is what in the world is 750 vc gonna get me Nothing. so like when we go to the gatorade one muscle milk gatorade is 500 vc so <laughs> i i'm only earning enough vc to get one of three different mm -hmm. components of the whole gatorade bar let's go look at the skill boost that's enough Spose vc these. three jump shot boosts and there's Spose six these, boost that i could get so in my eyes i'm trying to get a 50 point game or 15 assist game just for like three jump shot boosts the amount of time people uh -huh. are putting in to grind for certain things does not equate to what i'm able to get like it mm -hmm. just it just doesn't make sense in my eyes i hey, even want to show you boy. in current gen i was able to make 2000 vc just from playing the game till halftime and i didn't have to throw no lobs i just had to get open shoot my threes and score as much points as possible now i understand that 2k is going to minimize the amount of vc that we can get so that it still makes us want to buy it but it's literally to the point where there's no point of me playing because the amount of uh -huh. vc that i earn isn't going to matter and even in 21 current gen you mm -hmm. would continue to play my career games until you would get um your endorsement check after a certain amount of weeks i want you guys to see how much vc i have after picking up all of those checks and then that's the third time and then it closes and you're gonna see at the bottom left i got 33k vc from stacking up my and this is current gen. They don't be paying attention like that. Imagine how it was on uh next gen. Endorsement checks. And it's not like this is something like that's overpowered. Like I earned it. I played a whole bunch of my career games. I got my endorsements. Now it's to the point, I don't think I'll ever earn this much amount of VC and it be worth it in 2K24. Road to For those 99 of you that didn't know, all. Road to 99 was in NBA 2K18 and 19. And they were basically where your overall was tied to like what would be your park rep in the new games. So a rookie, it would basically basically would have been a 60 overall and a legend would be a 99 overall so in these two 2ks you could basically grind out your park rep in my career that's horrible if, if that happens it'll ruin the whole rep race all all people would do is get a bunch of people on their account like people they know in real life or just have a bunch of people and then just hide in my career and it will kill the uh actual rep race which doesn't really matter it'll kill the rep race 
and um, a bunch of people will be crazy overpowered by just boosting in uh, my career and having a bunch of OP players. So, I mean, eh, it's lame. I ain't gonna hold. Shouldn't be tied, but you should definitely get benefits for grinding my career, but it shouldn't affect your rep. So, since a lot of people were farming um, my points and trying to get as much XP as possible, 2K started doing like updates and patches to make the AI kind of prioritize, like limiting the amount of my points that you could get. You could start to see them try to double team you more and try to prevent you from getting certain alley oops off. Quick one elevator rip from behind half court, especially when you reach that time when they're gonna double team you as soon as you get past half court. They patched us on alley oops, they patched us on post spin. They patched us on drop steps <laughs> they patched us on moving shots they patched us on just about everything but now the problem with this is that the road to 99 is no longer in the game but the ai kind of operates in the same exact way where uh -huh. the ai is more worried about limiting the amount of my points that you could get rather than worrying <laughs> about actually winning the game now i want to uh -huh. use this clip to show you exactly what i mean now pay attention to this the score is give i don't pass a 24 hour someone give him a 24 hour 99 to 99 and mind you when i seen this video I clicked a random part in the video and stumbled upon this. So you're gonna see he has takeover. He's dribbling, dribbling. He's gonna try and get past him. Doesn't work, the help's right there. He brings the ball out and you're gonna see, for whatever reason, the computer comes to double team him. That's that damn diss Cesar, he a damn hater. Give him a 24 hour. And leaves a wide open shooter right here with no like other defender that could go over there to rotate. And Why are you asking me if I hack? Are you good, FaZe? This is the point that I'm trying to show. The CPU, they don't care if they win the game or not. All they care about is limiting the amount of points mm -hmm. and my points that you could get. They don't care if your teammate has 50 points out of the corner. So this becomes a big problem because- Welcome to the block party, boy. Hold on. 24 hour. Don't you ever in your fight ask if I'm live, boy. You say, hey, Swante, what's up? You don't ask if I'm live. You ever type that in my stream? Anticlimactic. So overall, the game is going to become boring because I know the CPU is going to come try and double team, always doing the same thing over and over again. Once I start <laughs> passing the ball to my teammates and they score 40 or 50 points, we're just going to win by 30, 40 points. And it's not going to be a different experience. Now, if you think the CPU isn't wired to just limit the amount of my points you could make, I'm going to show you examples. Now you're going to see these first two possessions. I'm going to, you know, just go for a quick little dunk, but pay attention to the sex, to the second dunk right here that I get. You're going to see when I drive to the basket. Probably leave even buddy wide open in the corner look at this this is ours a weirdo hater look at this look at this look at this there's already a guy here to stop him and somebody still runs off they man to sprint at you beating your man this is disgusting bam thanks for the fall <laughs> and the the score is two to zero what the bro the score is two to zero holy shit. pay attention to how the corner drops to my dunk and this wing defender First drops quarter. to the corner even though it, it doesn't even make sense for this corner defender to, to drop here because there's already a defender in the paint and it's two so to it zero just goes to show that the ai is just wired to help even when it doesn't make sense so you're gonna see right here i call for an ice i'm driving to the lane and you're gonna see this corner defender <laughs> drops and the wing four drops. to zero the corner defender is dropping here <laughs> even though he can't Bro, what kind of logic? It's first quarter four to zero and he's running off his man like that? Get there in time to Damn. stop him. If anything, it should be the left corner defender to stop. But they're gonna do the same thing and I just make the obvious pass to the right wing and it's a green. So do you think the CPU is gonna stop doing that? Of course not. <laughs> I blow by the defender. I give a pass to the left wing. It's a green. And now they're down seven and they're gonna keep doing this. They it's all entertainment phase. Stop trying to uh, ask about certain things. Tighten up, boy. They don't care. They're like, they don't care about actually winning the game. They just care about stopping me. Now, some of you might say, oh, if they're helping on me too much, that means I have more of an opportunity to get assists, which would help my my points. Well, the thing with my points is that it's alley-oop assists, alley-oop dunks, and flashy assists that gives you the most amount of my points. And just from an experience standpoint, I don't want to sit here and throw a pass to the left wing and the right wing every single possession. Like, uh -huh. it's my career. I want to have fun. Well, I'm exact. This is a, is a loser. He's a horrible dev. These gameplay devs are so horrible and trash. They want to do anything to limit your fuck. Okay? Imagine kids playing this. Like, it's my career, bro. You feel me? It's my. I remember they took the rookie mode out and they juiced the AI crazy. It's like, how are kids gonna play this? What are y'all doing? They so mad at uh us top players cooking sh that they just are tweaked out, bro. Like, why are you hating so bad? Like, it's a sickness. You know, like they really trying to you know, crazy playing the game, not making the same obvious pass over and over again. I feel like the solution is to change like the translation of what gives the most my.
They want you to be a robot and play how they want you to play. They don't want you to have fun on the points. So for example, if I get 100 assists, it shouldn't matter as much whether it's alley-oop assist or regular assist. Now, if it's something marginal, like where an alley-oop assist gives you 150 my face. points and a regular gives you 125 or something small, okay. But it's at a point where it's like, in order to get the most my points, you literally have to cater to just throwing a whole bunch of lobs and playing a sort of meta sort of way. And also mm -hmm. when you pass the ball to the AI, you'll also notice how flawed they are you're gonna see right here when i get past the defender i know they're gonna help the same exact way so i dot the left wing but since he's not spaced out correctly or curling up or like getting away from this defender this defender is able to play too <laughs> and he takes a contested shot so Sad. for me it's kind of like i can pass the ball but when i do pass the ball you're gonna see how Sad. horrid the ai really is you if you think some of the things i showed you were, were bad it gets worse yo <laughs> why did he shoot that <laughs> I just can't make this up. That's all I'm gonna say. He's dropping. Bro, I remember back in the day when I had to be forced to play my career, bro. That's so unbearable, bro. I had to really deal with this. Bro. I'm so glad I don't have to be forced to play it. This is they gotta add the cutscenes back. He ain't uh talk about the cutscenes and the storyline. It should add the cutscenes and all that that people love, but they just gotta make it skippable. You go into the gym, good luck. If you ever need some type of gym advice, let me know, man. I'm a I'm a young guru, man. You're already above the rest of the world man you 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 go lift man proud of you what i'm talking about bro yes that's not a foul what the f oh hell no he's a bot by the f yo i just can't with this game man why are you stepping bro if you're not gonna commit bro oh he playing start five how you shoot it bro what the f what the f dog so now I'm gonna break down this clip to really emphasize all of the flaws of the AI literally. Oh no, simple. So you're gonna see right here, I use the screen, the hedge defender is in the paint, like he's still able to guard the role, so I have no passing option. But the AI still helps regardless, even though there's someone already in the paint. So their corner defender goes to the paint and their wing defender drops. So I make the obvious pass to the wing. And as I make that pass, our corner offensive player curls up, messing up the spacing. Disgusting. So I call for a reset. Disgusting. Now pay attention to this defender. Imagine if the disses are is really coding them to do that wouldn't that be like a joke damn top three 2k players of all time in your opinion swante lord baby hulk and dante those are the top three 2k ever. they're right here for whatever reason he drops to the paint so instead of Terrion prince just standing still at the three-point line where he's going to be wide open he cuts into the defense now i'm driving so now i don't have a dunk and i can't pass the ball because he's in the <laughs> passing lane but for whatever reason their corner defender still drops to the paint for no reason even though it's covered so i throw the pass to the wide open three-point shooter he doesn't shoot the ball and he waits for the defense to get there and another big issue with the ai is that when you call for a screen your ai that's setting the screen will end up like oh slowing God. down after like the first step and a half and this causes the defender to be it's all by design naheem all by design be able to catch up like you'll be able to see right here like right when he starts slipping like when he does the animation where he puts his hand up like the first step or so will be like fast but then once he puts his hand down he just slows down and the defender will be able to catch up now for this teammate grade name your logo's gone buddy if they do give you a logo you can't make these videos no more they're gonna silence you yeah you, you only got like 7k yeah they're gonna silence you my boy you are getting silence with the logo you are getting silence in the near future my boy part i want to show a clip from a video i seen a couple months ago by naeem 4k yeah make sure to go check out that video but i just want y'all to listen and i want y'all to see something now the second clip look at my grade i'm at an a minus and you see where the green bar is i use the screen i throw a lob to lebron he gets a dunk my grade barely goes up okay cool, whatever right so i get back on defense i'm following my arrow and i'm guarding my man i'm doing what i'm supposed to do as a consumer that paid for the game and you see my grade mm -hmm. drops you want to mm -hmm. see a comparison when the clip started Damn. my grade was here when the clip ended after i bro another thing i just played wreck right like an hour ago the guy didn't move for the first four minutes in the first quarter and stayed in the game the whole time and did not you know what probably kicked him out was the controller thing someone can literally stand still and not get graded out possession after possession that should fix that shit. got an assist and continued to play defense as i should it went down here so yeah in other words um 2k is basically finessing us out of like our teammate grade so there's a comparison that i made in this video basically in for honor in this in this fighting game called for honor right there's certain characters if you get hit 
by that character with a certain attack you'll continue to lose health after you get hit but this makes sense because you did something wrong you didn't defend yourself enough and you got hit so now you're dealing with inflicting damage which is perfectly fine but from a 2k perspective that doesn't make sense if i'm standing still and guarding my man in the corner and following my arrow and doing what i'm supposed to do and i'm still losing teammate grade i'm just being cheated out of something for They're no reason to get you. and that's not you know what's so crazy i'll have games where i'm eight for eight and be at a d plus teammate grade ain't that sad shooting 100 percent have a low grade ain't that a joke come on man scoring and winning the game for your team that means you're a great team player man. you shouldn't be damn near about to grade out in this bit of me and that just goes into a deeper conversation of why do they want to take away your teammate grade because you gotta come to my twitch daniel if you want to see it you got to come to my twitch exclamation twitch lord baby hawk exclamation twitch the teammate grade goes towards how much vc you get at the end of the game and that goes into a bigger conversation that we're going to save for another time and another issue with the teammate grade that i talk about in the video is how right here you guys can see i have 106 points i have an a plus but you can see i have a gatorade cup so me being you know uh, a decently smart person i wouldn't say i'm the smart this but i'm not trying to lose my teammate grade i'm not trying to do none of that i'm not trying to start taking bad shots or whatever the case may be so you can see right here i come off the screen i end up taking a bad shot i miss i'm like well this makes no sense why would i continue playing we're up 80 points with three minutes left like in real life you would sub out your best player with three minutes left so he doesn't get injured i have a gatorade cup what am i staying in the game for so i go to axe out and sim to end with vc so i can sit on the bench for the rest of the game and what you guys are going to see what ends up happening is my grade goes from an a plus all the way down to a b that is insane to me bro Damn. so i'm basically being penalized for axing out and simming to the end of the game with vc but in turn i'm gonna still end up getting less vc because you guys dropped my grade for subbing out with three minutes left it's just, it, it's just crazy the twist and turns and the ways 2k will just go out their way to kind of find a way of making that you think you're making vc this is really low-key making you lose vc like it's just it's just seem like much, he don't man. understand like, cohen man grandmaster thanks for the chat, follow i need y'all to let me know in the comment section tell me if i'm bugging do y'all not feel like in my career you lose more stamina than in the rec or pro-am because i kid you not in my career i, I literally get gatorade like cups at the bottom right of my player like right here this clip like this game is rookie five minutes look at the time and you can see where my gatorade goes from 319 to 40 it's probably on purpose because they know uh my career guys they probably be buying gatorade and stuff if you make it play like this two seconds and mind you all i'm doing is coming up the court and shooting mid ranges i'm not really playing defense i'm not pressing turbo that much and you can see i'm losing a lot of stamina but a big difference is, is on the wreck i'm not just only playing offense mm -hmm. not only am i dribbling up the court against a lockdown but i'm also playing defense That's against the, by their guard too you're gonna see right here i'm pressing their guard up the court so you would think playing offense and defense i would lose more stamina right but no for whatever reason in my career you lose much more stamina i don't know if in my career in between quarters your your bar doesn't regenerate and in the record does or something like that maybe that's the case but for me it's just like i don't see no Make point sure in follow that you being on a difference play. so in my opinion i feel like my career is just too stressful whether you're a casual player that mm -hmm. plays once every two weeks or you're a comp player that plays every day this is no point of playing my career you're better off grabbing like one or two of your friends and going <laughs> to play the wreck of the pro am 3v3 because at least you'll have a little bit of fun and you'll catch some laughs rather than going to play my career and having to deal with everything I talked about. W video, man. W video. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm that made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome. dome.